Shalom. Back again uh, in part three, destroying the doctrine of hell. Brakfar Yah Bashmashai, double honors to the elders and apostles, blessings, salutations to the elect, blessings and comfort to the sincere men, women, children that are destined to repent. So, uh, part three, you know, proven again. Um, these Christian churches, especially, got it all mixed up when it comes to the hell doctrine. Hell doctrine just means uh, grave or a place of a, a lower state, man. This is Amos 9, verse 1. I saw the Lord standing up the altar, standing upon the altar, it's like, and he said, Smite the lintel of a door. Lintel refers to like a, a, a knob of the door or a handle of the door. In other words, when the Lord comes back, he's going to um, um, destroy the, the system of the so-called white man, the barriers of the so-called white man, his structure and his formation. And the posts may shake, that the posts may shake and cut them in the head, all of them. And I will slay the last of them with a sword. When the Lord comes back, he's going to bring destruction on, upon the earth. A lot of people don't preach this. There's going to be great, great, great slaughter and destruction that the Lord's going to bring. Isaiah 66, yeah, talks about the slain of the Lord shall be many when he returns with it, with the holy angels, with the chariots, who the world, who the people in the world call UFOs. Yeah, he that flee for them shall not flee away, and he that escape of them shall not be delivered. Yeah, so this is inescapable destruction, man. Whoever is destined to be destroyed will be destroyed. Yeah. Now, in some in in uh, in some situations, some some heathens, people that are not Israelites, um, not in terms will make it, as in they will be saved. No, they will be left over in the earth. Why? Because a lot a lot of the heathens that are going to be left left on the earth, they're going to become slaves, man. They're going to get chained up. Yeah, a lot of these women that are gonna be left left. Yeah, it's not gonna be a, a um like a lot, but enough. Uh, women are gonna be there to multiply with man. With the men of the Lord, yeah, people are gonna be slaves and chained up as well. He that flee for them shall not flee away, and he that escape of them shall not be delivered. Now listen to this. Yeah, going into the hell doctrine. Though they dig into hell, then shall mine hand take them. So, how can you dig or go into hell if it's a spiritual place? And not only that, the place, the concept of hell that they teach in the Christian church, Catholic church, is an inescapable place. But the Lord said he's going to take you out of there. It's talking about underground, man. Bunkers. That's what um, Esau, the so-called white man, has prepared. He's prepared underground bunkers and even space bunkers, man. That's what he's trying to do, create space stations so he can inhabit in space when destruction comes on the earth. Yeah. Then shall my, my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, heaven it represents the, um, the firmaments, the different um, segregations of water. We got water on the earth. As in the sea, you got water in the atmosphere, the air or um, Earth's atmosphere. Then you got waters of the space. You know they're trying to go up to heaven, and what they're trying to say is, what trying, what is the scripture trying to say is that they're trying to um, hide by going to to space, man. The Esau is, is hell built on on the the technology to go to, go out to space, man, because he's trying to he's he's in fear. You know that something's coming, so he's trying to escape that. And it goes, Vents will I bring them down. So it's not talking about the literal heaven. How can they enter you know, into the spiritual heaven in the first place? Being, you know? So, you got to explain to me, what, what hell is this? There's nothing concerning about burning in fire for eternity. You know? We said, dig into hell, man.
Yeah. So you got to explain. Anyway, with that, shalom, man.